The first reason was that uh, because I had to adapt uh, to different uh, countries, you know, I went to Greece, then I went to France, then to Germany, then to China, then to Japan, then to the US. <clears throat> Every time, of course, you, you learn about the, the specific culture of, uh, of a new country, but also you learn that, that people are different. That uh, and that there is no, you know, one, uh, there is nothing uh, right or wrong uh, or uh, white or black, and that, you know, it. Uh, I think that one after the other, the experiences that you have in in these countries open your mind, open your mind, and develops this quality that I think is extremely important in our company, in our industry, which is which I call empathy. Empathy is this capacity to to understand the the others to to understand what they dream of, to understand what they need, to understand what they want, even if they don't even know themselves what they want, to be able to guess uh, what you could create for them that would make them uh, happy and satisfied. Well, I think the, the sooner the better, <laughs> or the earlier the better, and, uh, and that's why I think that uh, for a school like OSCP, the, the, the idea of having this, uh, this education in several languages to be on, on different campuses around Europe is extremely important and, and precious. And this multicultural uh, training and education, I think, is absolutely critical for the future. The world of tomorrow will be multicultural. Uh, it, it will be, it will be multi-ethnic, multicultural, uh, and so the, the, to prepare uh, young people uh, to live in this new world, I think it's fantastic. But it matters because the first, when you learn a language, then you learn other culture. Uh, for example, now at L'Oréal, we have a, uh, it's, a, it's an obligation when people move as an expatriates to, con to a country to learn the language. It may sound obvious, but it was not always the case. And it's not because we always want them to be fluent in the language, because sometimes, you know, if you go to Korea or China, it's very difficult. But at least we want them to learn, because when you learn, you, you get into the, the spirit of the, of the people of the country. You understand their tradition, their cultures, the, the way they, the way they, they think. Uh, and uh, that's why I think that for, for young people to, to be able to learn several languages is already a training uh, to understand different way of thinking uh, and it's a great uh, preparation for their life.